Hello. So I'm going to see who's going to connect first. Hello, hello. Hello, Flor. I am waiting for my students to join the class. And here we go. Hello, hello. Okay, I already sent a message to all of you. Hello, Mr. Vector. Good night. Good evening. Good evening, good evening, good evening. I am the only one? Yeah, you, you just connect, right? Oh, Estreberto is here too. I think he's having difficulties to connect because I saw him before and he left. Oh, you are still wearing your uniform. Yes, because I'm, I am... Just, just arrived at home. You are just arriving. Huh? Hello, yes. Delia. Hello, Lionel. Hello, Mr. Estreberto. <laughs> yeah, you still have your badge on. Yes. My goodness. The badge, the key of the card, and, um, and this little thing that is to open up. What is that for? Uh, Como una llavecita, pero es para abrir una cosa de seguridad. Oh, okay, good. That's very good. Excellent. But I am very happy that you are here. That's very nice. Hello, uh, Lionel. How are you? Hello, Delia. And Estreberto is having difficulties. He left again. Hello, teacher. Hi, Lionel. How are you? Fine, teacher. You are fine. That's very good. You sound tired. ¿Qué me les hicieron? Los oigo como cansados ahora. It's Monday. <laughs> it's Monday. I know, I know. It's Monday. It's difficult, right? Everything. It's, it's very complicated. Well, eh, we are in our class number 13, right? Eh, tomorrow, it's our final class, class in, in general. On Wednesday, we have a... a we have, wait, no, the final class, I mean, with, with topics and all that. Yeah. On, on Wednesday, we have the review and the checking of all the platform things, certificates and all that. And on Friday, on Friday, we have your oral exam presentations. You'll be like, okay. <laughs> right? You have your oral exam presentations. What are you going to do on that presentation? You are going to share, you are going to share with everybody about what you learn during the unit, during the, the module, sorry. You are going to, to talk about what you learned during the module, what you like the most, what you need to work more on, and uh, you are going to, uh, to mention what are your expectations for the next module, and for sure, eh, something extra that you want to include. There are going to be only two minutes. Les voy a enviar igual todos los detalles ahí en el grupo de WhatsApp de lo que tienen que hacer para el día jueves. Son alrededor de dos minutos cada uno los que van a participar. Así que tienen su eh, oral presentation on Thursday, jueves, ok? Thursday. So don't panic. It's only two minutes, ok? 
y de ahí vamos a hacer despedida con horchata y gaseosas, ahí pizza. Ya. Yeah. Ronnie va a recoger un dólar por cabeza que cuenta para la horchata y la pizza que van a compartir. <ríe> Ese día pueden venir de particular, ¿ok? <ríe> Por de, por de despedida party ok, good so that will be on Thursday on Friday I am not going to see you okay? sorry ¿qué pasó Ronnie? no le alcancé a escuchar ¿qué me dijo? creo que tenemos problemas con el audio Ronnie no le escucho bien Ok, me okay, quedé como el secreto de la felicidad. I am waiting for it. Ok, good, good. Well, let's, let's continue here. So, but that will be on Thursday. On Friday, you don't have classes, ¿ok? On Friday, you don't have classes. No van a estar diciendo, teacher, ¿dónde está la clase? El viernes. We don't have classes on Friday, ¿ok? The next module is going to start, hopefully, if it is not next week, the Monday of the next one, ¿ok? Si no comienzan justo la siguiente semana, pues esperan unos cuantos días ahí. Tienen derecho a la vacación pero eh, estén pendientes. Creo que ahora les enviaron un mensaje a WhatsApp, gracias a todos los que correspondieron, de eh, que a todos los que están con Recursos Humanos, pues ya Recursos Humanos tiene su documentación para el siguiente módulo, pero tenemos que pasar la plataforma arriba de 80%. Creo que todos ya, ya van más avanzados de eso. Estuve ayudando mucho a muchos de ustedes durante el fin de semana. Ya la terminaron muchos de ustedes, así que si no la han terminado, Porfa, eh, trabajemos en eso. Ok. Um, that's a, a requisite, right? It's a requisite for you to go to the next module. Ok. Remember our agreements. Practice your English. Ask for help. Keep your cameras on all the time. Attend your sessions on time. Participate as much as possible. Keep a cooperative attitude during class and collaborate with your friends in the WhatsApp group. Ok. Here we have on the attendance today, let me see, all my attendees. I have Victor, Lionel, Ronnie, René, Edwin, and Estrebert. Only boys. That's pretty nice. I am going to wait for the ladies to appear. We are going to learn today a little bit about today's class 13, about present continuous, right? We're going to work on present continuous, but we're going to start working on different times, right? How to say time, how to express time. I send you different links on the WhatsApp group. No sé si vieron los links que les envié el día domingo, si tuvieron chance de abrirlos, si tuvieron chance de estudiarlos o si me dejaron en visto. Pero, ¿Eh? ajá, yo creo que es el que más duele. ¿verdad? Ajá, sí. todos me dejaron en a visto. A mí no me mandó, a mí no me mandó. ¿Eh? Ay, todos están, permítanme. No cayó, no cayó el mensaje. ¿Y? Come on, come on, espérenme que. Tiene una esquela por eso. Ajá. Yo no estaba listo. Ahí está, miren. Ahí están los mensajes que yo les envié a ustedes. El día domingo, ¿eh? A la 1.57 de la tarde, ¿eh? There are the links that I send you. Ah, you cannot say that they are not there. Right. Eh, teacher, no, no lo vi, dice. Hmm. I am going to send you back here all the busque, links. Busque Edwin ahí, no, no, no me cayó. Ah, but if, si está en el grupo, tiene que haberle caído. Teacher, y en el otro grupo usted no va a dar clase siempre. Mm, no, I, I don't think so. I will, be, I will be more than glad. Yo más que feliz de darles clases para el próximo módulo, pero como eh, nos asignan diferentes módulos, el que nos toca, pues ni modo. Yo okay. No, 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 escucha, yo no estoy en el, no estoy en el grupo. Ay, come on, Edwin, why? He pasado todo ahí, el, el, todo el módulo enviándoles cositas, enviándoles mensajes, ayudándoles y todo, y usted no está en el grupo. En los lineamientos que les envían a su Gmail, ahí va el grupo de WhatsApp. Todavía se puede unir ahora y mañana. 
Por YouTube in the group. Ya. Yeah. Para que comparta ahí algunos memes, unos stickers. It's okay. Okay. Well, I have here different cities, right? The different names of the different cities. I have here. Um, let me see. I am going to mark them. I have Vancouver, Los Angeles, Mexico, Lima, right? Montreal, New York City, San Juan, Brasilia, Sao Paulo, Cape hey. Town, Casablanca, London, Marswo, yes. Moscow, Moscow. Ripjai, Bangkok, Seoul, Tokyo, and yes. Sydney. But do you know why? Do you know why? These are divided like this. And why do you have these specific times down here? Who can give me the answer for this one? Why, what is the meaning of these different times that we have here? Uh -huh. ¿Por qué creen que están todos estos numeritos aquí abajo? Because they are different. Por la hora. Schedules. Ah, different, different time lines. zones. Different time zones. Time zones. Okay. If time. you are here in Central different America, time. if you are here in Central America, and uh, we want to compare with the time in Sydney, for example, we know that we have to add more than 10, 12 hours to our time. Right? And this is a very complicated situation ah. with the different times on the different songs because it I am going to share one one experience that happened to me that I was traveling from one state in the United States to another state and it was a six hour difference from the two states but the curious <laughs> thing is that we left at three in the morning right and we arrived there to the other city like around four in the morning and it was a six hour difference. And we were like, <laughs> ¿Qué, qué pasó, eh? we were six hours in the plane, but it was just one hour difference in time between the two states. And it was like very horrible, right? Todos los niños me decían, teacher, pero estuvimos seis horas en el aire como que son las cuatro de la mañana. So, <laughs> you see, time zones, right? The different time zones that make a difference, right? Here, uh, between Mexico and El Salvador, we don't have a lot of difference, right? Because maybe it's just one hour difference that we have in some cases with Mexico or we have the same time, right? But with other countries, for example, in, in Russia, in, in Africa or in the other side of the world, then you add many more hours of difference right now mm -hmm. here. So this is, an, this is just to, to set you in context, right? Because I was going to use this example here. And it says here, hello. Hi, Davey. Hello. Hi, Davey. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Hi, Davey. This is John. I am calling from Australia. Australia? I am at a conference in Sydney, remember? All oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. And All it's right. 4 o'clock there time? in Los Angeles, it's right? There. Yes, 4 o'clock in it's... the morning. 4 a.m.? I'm very sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. So it's like, huh? So the poor Debbie, how do you think Debbie answered the phone? If it's 4 in the morning and I am calling you on the phone, ¿cómo me contesta? Is it a hello? Or a hello? Uh, mm. <laughs> and you don't even say hello. How do you answer at four in the morning? The cell phone. Yo les estoy four marcando ahorita. Ajá. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo me contestarían? Si son las cuatro de la mañana. Uh, uh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe like that. It's like, uh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> or you don't even know and you are just like mm -hmm. solo que yo lo dejo en modo avión no me va a caer la llamada oh my god ajá llámame cuando me necesites estoy siempre para ti <laughs> nothing cuando right un teléfono en modo avión es porque lleva más pasajeros <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 
Pongamos bueno, atención, ¿quién, ¿eh? ¿Quién lo dice, va? ¿Quién lo dice, va? Sus razones tendrá, va. Güey, 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 no, no, no. It's just an example. No, no están limpias. <risa> Check it, dice ahí, desbloqueado. <risa> Ok, good, very good. So you say, um, and hello. Hi, Dave. Hey, David. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Right? John is very happy because it's, it's like very active and everything, right? Australia? Huh? And she doesn't even know who's, who's John or who's calling, right? I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? Oh, uh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. and it's four o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. <gasps> 4 a.m.? I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. It's like, ah, eh, meh. Anyway, <laughs> thank you. Thank you for calling me at this time in the morning. So, I am Debbie and you are John in Australia. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Who is young? You, all of you. <laughs> ah, Hello. All of us. Hello. Hi, Debbie. Hello. This is John. Hi, Debbie. I'm calling from this Australia. Australia. I am in a conference in Sydney, remember? Ah, oh, oh, all right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. And it's four o'clock there in Los Angeles. Right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. What I am, or oh, I'm really sorry. Um, that's okay. I'm awake now. Nah, <laughs> I am going to drink some coffee. <laughs> Thank you, my Victor, because you were answering there for everybody, right? You took it for the team. That was very good. Okay, so. This is the idea, right? What time is in Australia? What time 10, is it in Australia? 10 p.m. 10 p.m. 10 p.m. And what time is it in Los Angeles? 4 a.m. 4 a.m., right? What time is it right now? What time is it right Where? now in your computer? What time is it? Uh, it's 9.20. 9.20, right? 9.20. It's 9.20. Today, we are going to learn a little bit on how to tell the time. So that's why I was introducing you this little conversation. When you read the time, it is kind of complicated. If you didn't know how to read it before, now you're going to do it. So here we have different forms. And we have, it's five past right? Han pasado cinco, o son las ocho y cinco, in this case, if you mention it. It's ten past, pasan diez de, so son las nueve y diez. It's a quarter past, what is the meaning of quarter? Un cuarto, paso un cuarto. Un cuarto, right? Fifteen. Of fifteen minutes, right? Quarter, quarter is our good friend, la cora. La pronunciación correcta, it's a quarter of dollar. That's the correct is... pronunciation. A quarter of dollar. Alguien, dollar en el mundo, alguien en el mundo no puede decir quarter. Y dijo cora. Y todos cora, 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 cora. Y todo el mundo dice cora. And it's a quarter. It's a quarter of dollar. A quarter. Quarter dollar. A quarter yeah. of dollar. <laughs> yeah. Alguien en el mundo dijo quarter. Ay, yo no puedo decir quarter. Yo voy a decir cora. Y quarter. It's quarter. Pero en realidad, todo el mundo aquí en El Salvador, si usted le dice, how much is it? Two quarters. ¿Qué? No sé, no sé qué me dijo. Una quarter, una quarter will be like, it's a quarter. Quarter is the correct pronunciation, ya ven, ya descubrimos dos cosas que hacemos los salvadoreños. Decimos fucsia. Vaya, quarter, 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 quarter. It would be like, quarter, 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 quarter. That would be the correct form of selling, but we don't do it, right? En El Salvador decimos fucsia, y se llama fuchsia. Decimos cora, y es quarter. Aquí estamos culturizándonos. <coughs> but it's okay. <coughs> si vamos por el mundo diciéndole, deme ese pantalón fuchsia que está ahí. Ah, el fucsia. <laughs> They just do it like that. Sí, ese. It's okay. A quarter. Tenga, les dejo dos quarters aquí. 
¿El qué? No, dos corazón. <laughs> Come on, tenga, agárrela. So, it's okay. So, then you have, it's 20 past. Son las 8 y 20 o pasan 20 de tal hora. It's 25 past. Pasan 25, right? It's half past. Half past is 30 minutos. Right? Half past. It's 25 to. Aquí ya no decimos past. Aquí decimos to. ¿Por qué? Porque falta tanto para la siguiente hora. It's 25 to. It's 22. It's a quarter to. And it's 10 to. And it's 5 to. And in this one, you say it's nine o'clock in this case. Please don't say it's nine o'clock uh, p.m. in some cases, because you say at night, for example, right? It's nine o'clock or it's 9 p.m. The two forms are correct. Pero si yo le pregunto ahorita, what time is it? It's 9 p.m. Right? Ya me dicen que es en la noche. Okay. Or it's nine o'clock. Y si yo les estoy preguntando de noche, pues obviamente ya sé que es de noche. Okay. So right now it's 9.23. So you can say it's 23 past nine. Okay. 23 past nine. Because 23 minutos pasan de las nueve. So, or in simple words, it's 9.23. Easy, peasy. Breezy, 9.23. And we don't complicate that much. The only ones that we need to be very careful are o'clock and half. Okay? In this one, you can also say 30. 30. That it's like 9.30, right? You can also say 9.30 or uh, half past 9. The two forms are correct. Okay, so here I have some other examples for us to go and practice the time. Here, I have here, it's one o'clock. One o'clock is en punto, right? It's one o'clock. It's one o five, la una y cinco. Or it's five after one. Cinco pasan de la una. It's one thirty, la una y media. It's one forty, it's twenty to two. Right, 20 to 2 serían 20 a la 1. A la 2. <laughs> a la 2. <laughs> Come on. Ya ven, no se enamoren. Ya ven, eso pasa. It's 20 to 2, right? 20 a las 2. It's 1.15. It's 1.15. Or it's a quarter past 1 or a quarter after 1. Or it's 1.45. La 1.45. It's a quarter to 2. It's a quarter to two. Un cuarto a las dos. Right? It's a quarter to two. Good. So this is not really complicated to learn how to give the time. You just need to be very careful on the times and the numbers that you are reading. Okay? So taking into account on this one, I have some examples. Okay? Uh, Lionel, can you read the first example? Uh, okay. Yes. Read it, please. Uh, Read it. Leamos. Lo leo. Yes. Okay. It's two o'clock. It's two o'clock. Manuel, can you read the next one? It's five past two. Very good. It's five past two. Victor. It's 10 past two. It's 10 past two. Good. Ronnie. Read the next one. Quarter past two. It's a quarter past two. Rene, read the next one. It's 20 past two. It's 20 past two. Okay, Edwin, read the next one. It is 25 past two. Very good. Delia, can you read the next one? Is four. Okay, Delia, go I ahead. I cannot see the screen. Oh, you cannot see the screen. 
Okay, no. let, me, let me share it again. Las comparto de nuevo. <coughs> Don't worry. Excuse me. Go ahead, go ahead. Don't worry. Okay, but it was, it's 25 to 3. Uh, Jacqueline, can you read the next one? Um, this one. It's quarter to 3. It's a quarter to 3. That's correct. It's okay. It's um, quarter to 3. It's a quarter to 3. Very good. Jose Hernandez, can you read the next one? It's quarter to three. It's a quarter to three. Hello. And Estreberto, it's ten to three. Go ahead, read it. It's five to three. It's five to three. Okay, Delia, can you see the screen now? Delia, ya puedes ver la pantalla? No, se nos perdió Delia. Okay, so we have. We use at plus the time when giving the time of a specific event. The class starts at nine o'clock. Okay, a esa hora empieza su clase. The class starts at nine o'clock. The flight leaves at 10 to three. It is, it is or it's to answer a question. What time is it? It's half past four. It's 20 to five, right? That's the way you use it to give an answer when someone says, what time is it? ¿Qué hora es? What time is it? Uh -huh. Hey, what time is it right now? The night 28. Night 28. It's 9.28. 9.30. It's 9.20. 9.30, right? 9.30. What time, what time do you start working? What time do you start working? So in this case, you have to say at. What time do you at start working? Eight at eight o'clock. Good. What time do you start working? Todos at entran a la six, eight, six and a half. Six thirty. Six thirty como, or six and a half. Como digo, a las ocho y media. Eight thirty. Eight thirty ah. or eight and a half. It's okay. Eight thirty. Ah, pues, a esa hora. <laughs> so you say, I start work at eight thirty. Vamos, Jose. I start eight. work at 8.30. Repitamos. Eh, no, no le escuché bien. I. I. Start. Start. Work. Work. At. At. 8. 8.30. 30. Good, very good. You see? Aquí todos podemos. Let me see. Jacqueline, what time do you start work? I start work at seven o'clock. At seven o'clock, okay. El zorro como Victor. Manuel, what time do you start work? At uh, four and a half. Four thirty, four and a half. Oh my God, you are like Debbie in the conversation. That's very good. Okay, early. What do you and... do for a living? It's a military. Ah, <laughs> eh, Manuel. Manuel, right? Ah, Manuel Eduardo. I heard that another one. Okay, good. But Manuel, what is what is exactly uh, your job? ¿Cuál es su trabajo en sí? Eh, realmente soy multifunciones. <laughs> Porque tengo áreas administrativas, soy encargado y también patrullajes y un montón de cosas. Oh my God. Yeah, so 4.30. Yeah, y aún así comienza tarde, me imagino. Oh my God. Let's see. Hello, Helen. How are you? Hi, fine. Okay, Helen, what Sorry, time? Do you... I forgot the class. Oh my God. No. ¿Qué pasa? ¿Por qué? Y ni porque les mando mensajitos de que ya estoy ahí esperándolo. Ok. Sí, don't worry, don't worry. It's okay. It's okay. Eh, what time do you start work? I'm a start work at, uh, for tomorrow, 6 a.m. 6 a.m. Oh my God, yeah. very early. Early birds. Okay, so that's the way we use it, right? For any specific thing, any specific event, at. When you answer the question, what time is it? It is, okay? Good, so we have some examples here. 
say the hour first and then the minutes. And in this case, we say it's 6.25, it's 8.05, okay? 05, no decimos 8.05, porque no es correcto. It's, it's 8.05. Como cuando dábamos los números de teléfono, ¿se recuerdan que sustituíamos el 0 por O? También sucede en el, los periodos de tiempo. It's 8.05. It's 9.11. It's 2.34. Eh, we say the minutes first and then the hour when you use past. It's uh, four minutes, you say 1 to 30, we use past. And from 31 to 59, we use two. As I was checking on the first image. It's 25 to 3. It's 25. It's, uh, yeah. It's 25 to 3. 25 a las. Faltan 25 para qué hora? A las 3. A las 3. A las 3. It's 20 past 11. Pasan 20 de las. 11. De las 11. Ok, very good. Eh. 4.18, it's 18 past 4. Pasan 18 de las 4. 4. It's 9 to 9. 9 a las 9. It's 1 to 3. It's 1 to 3. It's 1 to 3. Right, it's 1 to 3. 1 para la 1. 1 para las 3. Ay, no sé por qué cargo la 1. <laughs> it's 1 to 3. Okay, so that's some of the examples. So tell me, what time is it here? Uh -huh. it's what time is it in the first one? What time is it here on the first one? This one. It's 2.20. It's 2.20, it's two twenty, right? It's 2.20. Right. What is another form to say this one? It's 20 after 2. It's 20 after two 20, or 20 past. 20, 20 past. past two. Past. Very past. good. Those are the three forms that we can use. What about this one? Six. Uh huh. It's 10 to seven. It's 10 to seven. Good. Another form? It's 50 it's past 50 two past seven. Six. 50 past seven. Okay. Or past six. Okay, fifty past six. Good. Fifty past seven. It's not possible. Fifty past six. <laughs> Ten to seven or six fifty. Right. You have the three options there. What about this one? Uh huh. What about this Eight. one? Quarter to nine. Eight. Quarter to Eight. A quarter nine. to a quarter it's to nine. Quarter. It's a quarter, a quarter. Now you're going to remember that. Cada vez que agarren una cora de hora en adelante se van a acordar de mí. Right? A quarter to nine. Right? A quarter to nine. It's 15 to nine or 45 past eight. Eight. Okay, very good. What about this one? What time is it on this one? Five past 11. Five past eleven. Any other form to say it? Eleven five. It's eleven five. Yeah. That's very good. It's eleven five. Mm -hmm. Any other one? Eleven oh five. Eleven oh five. Very good. Excellent job. We have the next one here. What time is it there? It's Three o'clock. Um, three o'clock. Fifteen past three. Fifteen past three, right? Si fuera three o'clock, tuviéramos una aquí. Three fifteen. Right? Quarter past three. It's a quarter past three. Good. And the last one that we have here is this one. What is that time? Forty-three. Forty-three. It's four. It's Forty-three. Four. 30, right? 4 4.30. Good. 4.30, right? Very good. Let me see. 4.30. What is your favorite time of the day? What is your favorite time of the day? Uh-huh. When I go, when to, I go to home. 
<laughs> when I go home, right? Or noon. Noon is the middle of the day. It's a mediodía. Noon, because you eat lunch, right? And, uh, well, my favorite time of the day, it's 4 p.m. when I finish working, right? I was like, yay, <laughs> the day is over. And also 9 p.m. because I'm going to see you. So that's my favorite time of the day, 9 p.m. Ah, mm. qué lindo. Mm. So that's <laughs> it about the time, right? Any question about this? Cualquier duda que les haya quedado antes de irnos al siguiente tema? ¿Está claro y ahora saben cómo decir la hora? Uh -huh. Yes. Thumbs clear. up. Good. Clear. Good. Very good. Excellent. So here we have it's a.m. or p.m. Yes. Dime. Dime. ¿Cómo se pronuncia cuando es a.m. y p.m.? A.m. A.m. or p.m. A.M. or P.M. Okay. A.M. And what is the meaning of A.M. and what is the meaning of P.M.? Yes. ¿Qué significa A.M. y qué significa P.M.? Thank you. Mañana, tarde. Ajá, uh -huh, but oh. in English? Antitabla. Oh. Pasado el meridiano. Morning. <laughs> Pasado el meridiano y antes del meridiano. <laughs> okay. <laughs> morning, morning and afternoon. That's good. La, la AM amaneciendo y la PM pasada yes. a la mañana. Oh, wow. Amaneciendo y anocheciendo. Ok, that's good. Se vale, se vale. The idea, the idea is there, right? The idea is there. Ok. Yeah. And it will be a, we have before, in this case is like ante medium. It's like ante meridian, that it's a antes del meridiano, as you were saying, ante meridian and past meridian, right? That's the meaning of that in English, right? Ante meridian and past meridian. That would be like before the meridian and past the meridian. It was very uh, correct as Mr. Victor mentioned it. So here we have, uh, in the first one, we have, uh, it's seven o'clock in the morning, or you say it's 7 a.m., sí. right? It's 7 a.m. Sí. Because in this case, you don't have to say in the morning. If you say it's 7 a.m., it's okay. Please don't say it's seven o'clock in the morning a.m. Porque ahí estaríamos re redundando en el significado. ¿Qué hora es? It's seven o'clock in the morning a.m. Sharp. No, right? <laughs> Please, no. It's seven o'clock in the morning or it's seven a.m. Okay, porque a veces decimos it's seven p.m. at night. Y es como, okay, son las siete de la noche en la noche. Okay, es como cuando llegamos a la casa y decimos ya vine. It's like, si sí, ya vino, ya, ya lo vi. <risa> ya regreso, dice. Ajá. Ya me fui. Ya, ¿sí? ya vengo, ya Ajá. vengo. Dice. Like, ya vengo y si no te has ido, todavía estás aquí, vea. It's 7 o'clock in the morning, good, or it's 7 a.m. But don't say it's 7 a.m. in the morning. No, because it's, no. Redundant. It's 12 o'clock. It's 12 p.m. Or it's noon, but please don't confuse and don't say it's 12 o'clock p.m. noon. Right? It's like, sí, ya estamos bien seguros que es a mediodía. Right? It's 12 p.m. or it's 12 noon. But if you say it's 12 midnight, mm. that you know that it's in the middle of the night. Okay? Noon is in the morning. Midnight is at night, okay? You cannot say it's not midnight, okay? This is just example. It's four o'clock in the afternoon or it's 4 p.m. You know that it's in the afternoon, right? It's 4 p.m. It's seven o'clock in the evening. 
no decimos at night. Ok, ya cuando nos vamos a acostar, si sí podemos ocupar at night. Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, it's 10, it's 10 at night. Ya, yeah, bye bye, me voy a la cama. But during the early hours, 6, 7, 8, 9, podemos decir in the evening, right? It's 7 in the evening or it's 7 p.m. And if you don't want to complicate or confuse, it's 10 p.m. And it's 12 o'clock at night, it's 12 a.m. or it's midnight, okay? Here you have the other examples. Okay, let's see. Mr. Victor, can you read the first example that we have here? Just for us to clarify it's it. It's 7 o'clock in the morning, it's 7 a.m. Thank you. Jose Hernandez, read the next one. Eh, solo que no sé cómo se dice el, el primero. Vamos, vamos, trate. It's 12 o'clock, algo uh -huh. así. Yeah, it's okay. It's... Uh... The same, 12. 12 es el mismo número, right? Ah, es el mismo. 12 <laughs> yes. p.m. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y it's noon. It's noon. Helen, the next one. It's for... O'clock in the afternoon, it's uh, 4 p.m. It's 4 p.m. Jacqueline, the next one. <clears throat> it's 7 o'clock in the evening, it's 7 p.m. Very good. Edward, read the next one. <clears throat> it's 10 o'clock at night, it's um, 9 p.m. It's 10 p.m. Very good. Álvaro, the last one. Is 12. 12. And I. X. Uh, Twelve. 12. 12 uh, am. A.M. A.M. Ian. And the last one? X. Midnight. 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 Okay, here you have morning, noon, afternoon, evening, night, and midnight. Okay, here you have the different uh, times that we can have. Midnight. Repeat after me. Midnight. In the morning. Midnight. In, in, the the morning. Morning. in the morning. In the morning. It's noon. It's noon. It's noon. Twelve o'clock. Twelve o'clock. In the afternoon. In the afternoon. In the evening. In the evening. 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 At night. At night. At night. Midnight. 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 Very good. Midnight. So right now we are at night or in the evening? The evening. In the mm. evening, porque no se han ido a acostar todavía. ¿verdad? In the evening. <laughs> Good. Ya me quiero acostar. Yeah, I know, ya no. 15 minutitos, <laughs> les, les, les robo nada más. <laughs> so, how can you match this one? It's 9 o'clock in the evening. It's 9 p.m. Here you say, it's 9 o'clock in the evening, and the other form will be to say, it's 9 p.m. ¿Cuál sería otra forma de decir, it's 8 o'clock in the morning? It's 8 a.m. It's 8 a.m. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 12... Well... No, no, no. 12 p.m. It's 12 p.m., right? No, no, no. It's 12 o'clock at night. Si ¿Sí es a la mitad de la noche. It's 12 p.m. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's 12 p.m. Oh, eh, en midnight. este it's midnight. It's midnight. 12 o'clock at night. Es midnight. midnight. Entonces sería 12 a.m. Porque ahí estamos en el día siguiente. It's 12 a.m. Right? It's 12 a.m. Right? In this case, si es, son las 12 de la noche. Yeah, it's 12 a.m. It's 3 in the afternoon. It's 3 p.m. It's 3 p.m. Right? It's 3 a.m. ¿Cómo lo podemos decir en otra manera? 
It's three o'clock in the morning. It's three o'clock in the morning. What about the next one? It's six p.m. It's six o'clock. O'clock. At uh -huh. night. At night or in the evening because it says six p.m. Mm -hmm. What about four p.m.? It's four p.m. It's evening. It's four p.m. Yeah. Oh. Afternoon. It's four. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. Very good. And it's twelve p.m. I. No, no. It's noon, right? It's it's, it's twelve. It's twelve uh, o'clock. Uh, noon. In the noon. afternoon, right? In the afternoon, or it's noon, right? It's twelve in the afternoon, or it's noon. Very good. So these are the different forms of you uh, that you can use for you to give the time, okay? Now, we are going to go, I am going to introduce the final topic that we have. Este es nuestro tema final del módulo, que es present continuous. Present continuous is used for actions that are taking place right now. Si les digo ahorita, ¿qué acción estamos haciendo ahorita mismo? Taking classes. We are in classes, right? I am going to take this one as an example and I'm going to use it here. Okay. We really? are we are learning. Learning. Right. We are learning. We Thank are you. receiving classes. Receiving well, classes. What is another reading. action? Reading. We are reading. reading. What well, is another action that you are doing? Listen. You are listening, right? You are listening. What's another action that you are doing? Looking. Sitting. Looking. Right? Checking. What's another one? Pronun pronunciation. Pronouncing, right? You are pronouncing. Or you are speaking. Speaking. You are pronouncing the language. You are uh, repeating. You're repeating, right? You are writing. Espero que todos estén tomando nota, ¿verdad? Writing. You are writing. You are processing the information, right? You are processing the information. What else are you doing? Huh? Maybe you are... Uh, Participating. Okay. All these actions are taking place right now. Okay. Todas estas acciones están tomando lugar en este momento. Entonces, todas estas son presente continuo. Son acciones que están tomando lugar en este preciso momento. Y terminan todos con ING. ING. ¿Por ING. qué? ¿Cuál es el significado ING. de ING? En este caso, si les digo learning, ¿qué significa esto en español? Leyendo. Aprendiendo. Leyendo. Learning. Learning. Aprendiendo. Es Aprendiendo. La Ajá. Receiving. Recibiendo. Recibiendo. Reading. Leyendo. Listening. Escuchando. Escuchando, no, right? Escuchando. <risa> Escuchando. <risa> ok, sitting es sentado, right? The sentado. Action. Looking, Looking. Observando, observando, right? Ando, endo. That's the form of ing in the Spanish language. Yeah, so yeah. here we can go and check on this one. Aye. There are some specific rules for you to transform the verbs, right? And I send them mm -hmm. to you on the chat. So you say like eating, going, going reading, green. dance. You say dancing, right? Writing, right? Writing. You don't say writing. No, it's not possible. It's no, it's knowing, fix, fixing, play, playing. Die, dying, lie, lying, tie, tidying. Tie is like amarrándonos, right? Lying, uh -huh. like Pinocchio, right? Like the picture here, lying. Mentiroso. Yeah, yeah mintiendo. Mentiroso. I'm mentiendo. Here you have the ones that you have double consonants. Cut, cutting, run, running, stop, stopping. And in this one, you have happen, happening, open, opening, mm -hmm. visit, open. visiting. Equal, equaling, 
travel, traveling, and control, um, controlling. Begin, beginning, forget, forgetting, submit, submitting, right? These are the different forms. In these ones, you have to double the letter. En el, en el caso de este, de los verbos que son cortos, y tenemos eh, consonante, consonante, vocal, vocal, consonante, consonante, doblamos la consonante y agregamos ing. ING. Okay, run, running, stop, stopping. Okay, so that is something that you need to remember how to transform the verbs. They are not really complicated, right? But here I have one example, and it says, um, okay, I have exactly eight minutes to finish this one. Hi, mom. What are you doing, What's Steve? Doing, Steve? I'm I cooking. Cook. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I am really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mm, pizza. Now I am getting hungry. Let's eat. Okay. So <laughs> imagine you waking up in the morning and then you see your kid cooking, right? What are you <sighs> doing, right? Go after me, everybody. Vamos todos juntos después de me. Hi, mom. Hi, mom. Hi, mom. Hi, mom. Hi, mom. What mom. are you doing, Steve? What are you doing? I'm cooking. I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. It's two o'clock in the morning. It's two o'clock in the morning, right? It's not possible. Well, I am really hungry. Well, I'm really hungry. I'm really hungry. I am really hungry. I am hungry. What are you making? What, what are you making? Pizza? Pizza. 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 Mm, pizza. Now I am getting hungry. No, I'm getting hungry. Hungry. Let's eat. Let's eat. Let's eat. Okay, now. Thank you very much. I need Jacqueline and Edwin. Jacqueline and Edwin, you are going to read the conversation. Go ahead. Edwin is Steve and Jacqueline is the mom. Hi, mom. No, ma. Hi, hi, mom. Hey, la mamá no fue. Helen, help me. No, no, aquí estoy. Ah, I'm here. here. I'm here. Ah, yes. es que la mamá andaba trayendo el cincho. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What are you doing, Edwin? I cooking. I am cooking. Why? Uh, what are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I am ready, hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Now it is getting hungry. Let's eat. Now I am getting hungry. Let's eat. Very good. Thank you. Two claps for your friends. Solo dos aplausos. Vamos a ver. To your friends. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, están, están, están un poco caros los aplausos. Don't worry. Now, Mr. Victor. <laughs> hey Mauricio, go ahead. Hi mom. Hey Mauricio. Uh, hi, what are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. What are you cooking now? Is the club in the morning? Well, I'm, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mm, pizza. You know, I'm getting hungry. That's it. <laughs> Very good job. Very good job. Two claps for your friends. Very nice. Now, I need Victor to choose another person and Rene to choose another person. Uh, Edward. Edward. Good. Edward. And the next one? 
Who's the other one? ¿Quién seré? Ok, Edward, you are Steve. But René, ¿quién va a ser la otra persona? Uh, Ronnie. <laughs> Ronnie, ok. Edward, you are Steve and Ronnie, you are the mother. Hi, mom. What are you doing, Steven? Good. I'm cooking. What are you cooking now? And it's, it's two and close in the morning. Mm -hmm. Well, I am really hungry. Uh, what are you making? What are you making? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. No, in any angry. Let eat. Let's eat, right? Let's, Let's eat. eat. Okay, very good. Now. I am going to show you, I am going to show you some pictures and you are going to tell me what it's going on in each of them, okay? I am going to show you this one. What is he doing? Planting. What, what is the person doing? Planting roses. Planting roses. Uh -huh. Any other situation that you can say? What is he doing? ¿Qué otra oración me podrían crear con esta? Fixing. Stealing roses. <laughs> Stealing roses. <laughs> He's fixing the garden. He's fixing, ah, the, fixing, garden. fixing the garden. What about this one? Uh, riding a bicycle. A She's riding a bicycle. What is he doing? He's acting. Acting, he's good, he's fun. acting. What about this one? He's swimming. He's swimming, good, mm. very good. What about this one? He's singing. He's singing. He's singing, hey, what a cool 3D effect. <laughs> She's singing, good. What about this one? She's... He's connecting. She's... Connecting, connecting the TV. TV, TV. Connecting, connecting the TV. TV. Fixing the TV. Good. What is she doing? Is swapping the garden. <laughs> She's swapping the garden. Another sentence that you can create on this one? Cleaning the garden. She's cleaning the garden. What is he doing? Uh, feeding cat. Feeding the cat, right? He's feeding the cat. Feeding the cat. What is he doing? Uh, washing the clothes. He's washing the clothes. Another one. What is he using? What is the name of this machine? Laundry machine. The washing. laundry machine or washing. the washing machine. Washing. Right, washing. she is using the washing machine. What about them? Dancing. They are dancing. Dancing. They are dancing, right? They are dancing. What is he doing? He's cooking. Cooking. He's cooking. He's cooking, right? What are the kids doing? Uh, they play. They are? Play. 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 They are playing. Good. Are playing. What about this one? Uh... Uh -huh. They are getting a hairstyle. She is getting. Drying, drying. She's drying her hair, right? She's drying uh -huh. her hair. What about here? Mr. Manuel Eduardo, what is he doing? He's playing guitar. He's playing the guitar, right? What is he doing? He's painting the wall. He's painting the wall, right? That's very nice. What about her? What is she doing? She's buying. Going She's to buying shopping. or? Going to, going to shopping. shopping. Going She's to shopping. shopping, right? She's shopping. What about them? She's... What about she? What is she doing? She playing, playing the, the piano. piano. She's playing the piano. Good. What is he doing? 
It's snowing. He's skiing. Um, right? He's a skiing. Uh, and the last one? He's cooking. He's cooking what? He's cooking. So, He's cooking a soup, right? He's cooking rice. Okay, very good. So, important. When you use the sentences with the ing form, you have to use the verb to be as well. Because right now you say, I am listening to the teacher. She is speaking English. We are in class. We are listening to the class, okay? Before the present continues, you use the verb to be. We are going to practice this topic a little bit more tomorrow on the next class. Have a beautiful night, my dear students, and I'm going to see you tomorrow for another class. So we are going to sleep right now because it's 10 p.m. So have a okay. beautiful see night. You tomorrow. I'm going to see you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.